Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Hey everyone, um, I hope you're all having a lovely Christmas, a Christmassy weekend. Um, I've got my Christmas jumper on with me gingerbread um, and what I thought I'd do is I thought I'd sit down and do a Christmas tag um, and this tag is from um, Charlotte Taylor, so Char Taylor, she's a YouTuber um, and she came up with a list of 2018 Christmas tag questions, it's 15 questions and it's got everything covered from what's your um, most favourite Christmas song um, to um, what's your favourite part of the Christmas dinner, what do you wear, um, so if you wanted to see me answer these questions and kind of share what I'm doing at Christmas then keep watching. Um, so question number one is what I what do I do on Christmas Eve? Now, for the first time in about six years since I was working in the call centre, I've actually got Christmas Eve off. Um, they very kindly agreed to shut the office where I work for the day. Um, so it is going to be very odd to me actually not having to go into work on Christmas Eve. Um, anyone who works in retail and everything like that, I fully sympathise with you. Um, because where I used to work, I, I did late shifts as well. So like over Christmas time, like the days in between, I would, I would be working evenings. Um, so this Christmas Eve, I think I'm just going to have a really chilled out one. Um, I've got all my presents sorted. Um, and I'll probably just spend it here. Obviously I live with my parents still, so I'll be cozy and down i might watch love actually watch a few christmas films um maybe have a few like treats i still haven't opened that terrace chocolate orange so i really need to get started eating that um so yeah that's what i'm doing christmas eve um question number two is how am i celebrating christmas this year so um to be honest i'm quite lucky in that well sadly i'm single so i don't have a boyfriend yet so i don't have to do like any meeting the in-laws or buying presents for them going to their house for dinner obviously in a dream i will have that day one day when my my prince enters my life um but what we'll be doing um my family like all are based locally so my dad's side of the family is based in somerset um, Somerset, that sounded really West Country then, um, and then my mum's side of the family all live local in Ye, um, and Bristol, so, um, we'll probably have, like, just a really nice cosy Christmas with my parents, um, I'll, I mean, it sounds a bit weird, obviously you're not really supposed to do a workout on Christmas Day, but I probably will, just because I like having that structure and that routine, um, I do obviously suffer with, like, anxiety, and I can get a bit low at Christmas, so having a routine, um, and not putting too much pressure on myself, um, and not kind of making myself feel that I have to have a perfect Christmas, because, like, although, like, in films and TV, they always have, like, a perfect Christmas, I feel like you've got to kind of, if you have any kind of mental health, like, issues, you've, you've got to kind of learn not to get overwhelmed with things, so I'll probably do, like, a quick workout in the morning, um, get up, I think I will do, like, a glam kind of makeup that day, I might actually vlog it, if you'd like me to vlog over Christmas, then give this video a thumbs up and subscribe, and I'll, I'll happily do it, um, so I'll probably be having just a nice cosy day in, I'll do my makeup and I'll probably get glam but I'll still like wear my jammies, um, I'll have Christmas dinner which I'm very excited about, um, I'll have some cheese, have some turkey sandwiches, watch the Queen's speech and just chill out. Um, next question is what would you wish for under the tree? So I don't really ever like ask for anything because I kind of like, I think I've got everything I need but um, I know my parents have got me a coat, a fur coat from Dorothy Perkins, which I haven't seen, but I'm very excited for it because my mum said it's like pink and fluffy and just gorgeous. Um, the only things I've asked for is a table, like a desk kind of like that I could put up here or put when I'm taking pictures for Instagram, um, which was not that expensive and it's also got like, like the, the phone holder so I can so I can, you know, like, take pictures and then I can have the light all ready to go behind me. So I've asked for that, um, I've asked for fluffy socks, and because, like, for me, Christmas is also about indulging, I've just asked for, like, a cheese selection, um, which sounds a bit weird, but for me, like, I don't know, I always have, like, light or low-fat cheese, so Christmas Day is the day when I'm gonna have some nice cheese. Um, next question is, what is your least favourite and most favourite Christmas song? 
My most favourite is, and if you're American or you're not from the UK, you won't get this, but Lee Francis, who's like Keith Lemon, and he did Bo Selector, he did a song called Proper Crimbo. Um, I'm not going to play it because I don't want to get copyright strike, but that is like my favourite song. Because it's like, come now sing with me, proper crimbo, selector. I'll take you for a drink with me, proper crimbo. Like, it's my favourite Christmas song. I just find it really funny. Um, and when he's like, can I get a key change? I can't sing at all, so I do apologise for that. But that's my favourite one. I think my least favourite is Shaking Stevens' Merry Christmas, everyone. Just because, no offence to him, I'm sure he's a lovely chap, but I do find him a bit irritating. Question five, favourite Christmas tradition. For me, it's got to be Christmas dinner. Like, for me, the turkey and the pigs in blankies and stuffing. Sometimes I like having cauliflower cheese and, yeah, oh... I absolutely love Christmas dinner. Um, question six is, do I dress up on Christmas or do I have a cosy pyjama day? Um, I definitely have a cosy pyjama day. Um, I'm not going to visit, like, I'm, you know, I'm not a member of the royal family, so I don't need to get glam and dress up. Um, but I will be wearing my pyjamas. Um, I'll probably do a bit of makeup, so kind of similar to what I've got on now. Put my lashes on just so I feel a bit more glam. Um, I might do an Instagram live as well so let, on Christmas day, so let me know if you'd like me to do that. Um, seven, favourite part of a Christmas dinner. I mean, I love it all, but my favourite has to be pigs and blankets because I'm sorry again to any vegan or vegetarians, but is there nothing better than sausage wrapped in bacon? Like, it's good enough as it is on a fry up, but just that on its own is just. Oh. Um, I also love like turkey with cranberry sauce, I love stuffing, Yorkshire puds. I know some people don't have Yorkshire pudding on Christmas dinner, but I love Yorkshire pudding. Um, eight, real tree or a fake one, we've got like quite a lively dog, so we've got a fake tree, I did the decorations last weekend. Question nine, um, do I love wrapping presents or loathe it? I absolutely hate wrapping presents. Um, I did it last weekend actually, I was quite proud of myself for doing it early, like normally I'll leave it like right last minute on Christmas Eve. But I got all my presents wrapped, um, I've got some Dash Hound wrapping paper from Wilkinson's, I've got some funny like cute little tags from there as well, um, and it's all wrapped and ready to go, but as I said like I don't have another half or anything so it's a bit easier for me to wrap. Question 10, have I done all my Christmas shopping yet? Uh, yes, I have. Um, the only thing I've got to get is if I see my friend and her kids, she's got three kids, um, I've got to get some presents for them and I, I quite like going into store to get stuff for kids. But other than that, yeah, all done, all ticked off, all wrapped. Um, I need to write Christmas cards but I'm sure I can get that done. Um, 11, least favourite part of Christmas. Um, I think... It's the pressure and it can be quite overwhelming at times. Um, I unfortunately, my first dog, a Labrador called Frodo, passed away on Christmas Eve. So I also find it like quite a soppy time. You kind of think over the year that's gone. So um, I try not to like get too low or down or anxious. Um, and I've kind of learned to kind of just embrace what I've got at the moment and try and be grateful for it. Um, I, I feel like that really helps, but that to me is the least favourite part, is that I feel sorry obviously for people that are homeless who, who aren't as lucky as me to like have a house and food and you know a bed I can sleep in, so I think like the, the main thing for me is keeping focused and being happy. Um, what does Christmas mean to me? So Christmas to me means, um, like I just said, so being grateful for what you've got, um, just being cosy and with your family. Um, giving thanks and just feeling really blessed to kind of have the life that you've got at the moment. Um, 13, top three Christmas movies. So my favourite Christmas film is Love Actually. Absolutely love it. I feel like because I've got Christmas Eve off for the first time in years, I think I'm going to sit in and watch a couple of Christmas films. So I'm definitely going to watch um, Love Actually. I also like Home Alone and then... I also like the film Nativity as well. I, I kind of like some, I like more kind of comedy films than soppy films. Um, I have seen like a few Netflix films have come out for Christmas. There's one with Vanessa Hudgens I want to watch, so I'm going to give that a go. 14, um, do you think you'll have a white Christmas this year? No. Um, ever I, I mean, we had the Beast from the East in March and April, which just caused havoc. But it's more like rain at the moment than snow, and I'm obviously not a 
a weather forecast person, a weather forecaster, not a weather forecast person, but I don't think snow can settle that easily when it's wet. So although it's freezing cold here in Bristol, um, I don't think it's gonna, don't think it's gonna snow. And the final question is, what is my Christmas wish? My Christmas wish would be um, to have all my family stay in good health and my mum to be healthy. And yeah, you know what, if I can find a prince as well in 2019, be it on the telly or in some other way, I'll be really happy. Um, so yeah, that was um, my Christmas list. Um, the only person I I'm going to tag is Zoe Unica. Um, I'll probably link her in the video below. Um, I really want her to do the Christmas tag. Um, and yeah, if you if you enjoyed this Christmas tag, please tag anyone, tag your friends, tag your family, tag your mum, tag your dad, tag your dogs. Um, and yeah, if you want me to do any other kind of tags, then let me know. Um, so yeah, I hope you enjoyed this week's video and you're having a lovely Christmas um, with your family, your friends, whatever you're doing. Give this video a like and subscribe if you enjoyed it. And I'll see you all next week. Bye, guys.